This week on Deer Gear, we'll get a glimpse at crossbow hunting and the top of the line 10 point crossbows that are helping grow the industry. We'll also try out some delicious recipes on the Bradley Smoker and highlight the advantages of the Oasis Wildlife Water System. Finally, we'll learn the importance of preparing a food plot with the help of Delta Ag. All that and more is coming up on Deer Gear. Many people suffer from an incurable disease called buck fever. And coming up, we'll address what happens when buck fever gets the best of you. You know, there's an, an epidemic out there. It's, it's something that can be cured. It's something that's, that's fixable. Yeah, the adrenaline and the, and the heartbeat and the pumping like that, there's not a lot you can do for that, but you can do something for the misses that are associated with buck fever if you're prepared. It's kind of like a vaccine. You know, when you get the flu coming on, you go get a vaccine before the flu season gets here, and you can kind of eliminate that opportunity. The same situation can happen when it comes to deer season. There is no reason to have a group like what you see on this target right here with these areas. And there's definitely no reason to have what's going on on this deer hunt right here. I mean, look at this guy. Boom, and a tree falls down, come on. You know how you can fix that? It's very simple. Know what you're doing before you get out there. How do you do that? It's simple. Range your target. Know what the distance is to your target before you pull the trigger. Then use a BDC scope. You put these two things together and you're gonna know that at 100 yards, I can put my crosshair right there and boom, I'm dead on. At 200, I go to my next circle. At 300, I go to my next circle. And you don't have groups like this. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to take a long range shot at the trophy of a lifetime or shooting a deer with your bow. Know the distance and know where to hold your crosshairs. You've been a little more confident in what's going on instead of sitting there and shaking his bad guessing what's happening. It's very simple. Take your range finder, point it down there, know the distances. When things come out at those deals, you know exactly where to put the crosshair or the circles on your BDC reticle so that you can eliminate. You can get that vaccine that's going on out there so you don't shoot the tree. You can't eat a tree. You can't mount a tree. So why shoot the tree? Shoot the whitetail. That's why Nikon has these tools out there for you to be more successful. Don't shoot the tree. 10 Point Crossbow Technologies is a world-class manufacturer and the industry standard when it comes to crossbows. This award-winning company is constantly innovating crossbow technologies and performance. Uh, crossbow hunting, we feel, is the, probably the hottest tool right now in uh, the outdoor industry, uh, as far as archery goes, for sure. Uh, more states are passing laws to, to adopt crossbows and adapt crossbow seasons and really the growth of crossbows has taken off and the sky's the limit. I've always been a person to believe that it's great to have more opportunities to get out and do things and that's why it's exciting to see what's happening in the world of crossbow hunting right now. It's opening up more opportunities for people to get out at times of year they necessarily wouldn't have. Most crossbow seasons are also long like archery seasons and it allows people to hunt for a long period of time where the gun hunter can only hunt for a few weeks, the crossbow hunter can hunt for months. Your crossbows are something that any hunter can get excited about hunting. A kid can hunt with a crossbow as he's, as he's growing up. A hardcore hunter that shot hundreds of whitetails with his rifle can get excited about crossbow hunting. We think crossbow hunting is just a great re recruitment tool and retention tool. Uh, crossbows allow us to recruit young hunters and it also allows us to retain older hunters who can no longer pull back a vertical bow. Crossbow hunting is just another one of those things that's coming online right now and growing in popularity and growing in opportunities out there across the nation that's going to allow more people to get out, pick up their crossbow, and have some success in the field. The best way to experience a 10-point crossbow is to see it in action. Let's join Deer Gear guest Justin Rackley out at camp as he looks to harvest the doe on his very first crossbow hunt. When I first started uh, shooting this 10-point crossbow, what really surprised me was the uh, inertia it puts on an arrow and, and how accurate it, it makes it. You know, I was, I was shooting really tight groups and I'm not a great shot or anything. It's just uh, uh, the accuracy of the bow and the arrows almost go uh, through the practice targets that I was shooting at. This is my first time hunting with a crossbow and I've kind of been out of hunting for a few years and uh, 
you know, just being around, uh, being around these crossbows, I've learned a lot about them and this 10 point especially and just got some confidence in it and that's really what it did for me and gave me the confidence to come out here and, you know, haven't hunted in a few years and uh, take a weapon out here that I can really shoot accurately. I can't be more excited, uh, you know, taking my first deer with a crossbow and I was glad to do it with a 10 point and uh, I'm pumped. <laughs> deer gear is brought to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature. 10 point crossbows, Bradley smoker, and Oasis Wildlife Water Systems. We'll be right back. Water is something we learn early on is very important. You know, I think all of us have seen the cartoons and the movies where the guy's stranded in the desert, his tongue's hanging out. And he's just, you know, you've got to have water to survive. And without water, you're in a bad way. The Oasis water system is something that, that caught my attention right away because we hunt a lot of times in areas that are very drought ridden and have been for some time. and. I've always felt like anytime I can hunt around a water source or a food source, I'm gonna be more productive. But as those have gone away in the last few years because of the lack of rain, uh, it's created a, created a lot of changes in the thoughts the way I would even set up some of my hunting places. So seeing these oasis systems and how simple they are and how easy they are uh, to be able to put out was something that right away caught my attention. Today we're gonna to set up our oasis wildlife water system We've picked a spot up here by our feeder, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and find a good level piece of ground, and we're gonna set it up so that our trail set level, and then we're gonna bring our product in and set it up. All right, that looks pretty good. It's a nice, good spot, so we'll do that. Now let's get our tray, and we'll put our tray in position. One man handles it easily. As you can see what we have here, we have a Basic tray system here, this is where our reservoir sits. This protects our float system in here, and this drains out here, and this is your reservoir that you actually have your animals drinking out of. So let's go put that in place. All right, one person can easily grab this thing, as you can see. We'll take this rascal over here. And as you can see, we've got our float system here underneath it. That float system is going to go down into the, into the containment area of the float, and it's very easy. You just basically set it there, be sure your float gets in the right spot. It secures itself down. The way we've designed this and the principle of this is the float system up under here is protected from all your animals and all obstructions, so your raccoons and things can't get their hands up in here and manipulate your valve. Okay, as you can see, we fired up our, our water hose from our, our fill tank. We're taking our one inch water hose. We're gonna put 100 gallons in this unit right here. Keeping our straight there, everything's in good shape. You can always uh, wash your pan out with your hose like that also when you're refilling. After uh, the second or third time that you come out to fill your system up, the animals would have put their feet in here and gotten dirt into your pan. That's one of the good things about our system is you don't have to manage if they got their feet in here or something died in here or algae built up in here because it won't. Just this down here in this one little pan. Again, this is food grade. It's gonna be 120 degrees out here, 110 degrees out here this summer. This is, the heat on top of this tank is gonna be 150 degrees. The water inside is gonna be about 80, 85 degrees. The UV protection keeps your water from getting hot your pan will have hotter water in it naturally, and your pan will have evaporation from it. But you won't lose evaporation from this original reservoir. All you'll have to do is from here. And as it evaporates, the float will naturally let it refill. So again, you're managing six gallons of water, five gallons of water, instead of 100. This was an open top. You'd be losing a lot of your water evaporation that your animals would never get the benefit from. This time of year being the spring, we're setting these up at the perfect time. Uh, you're gonna have 
yearlings and they're coming along and they're going to learn to drink out of these systems and they're going to get conditioned to finding water every time they see one of these just like when they see a feeder they're going to know to go and eat so that's what we're trying to do is condition your animals reduce their home range they can go and live 100 yards from here and they got food water and shelter they don't have to jump your neighbor's fence they don't have to go way off all right so i'm going to take my rocks I'm going to put the rock in his corner here. As you can see, that's right at the water level. If an animal fell in, you could get it and get out here. I'm going to set a rock on the outside, like this, to allow an animal to come in here. You get up high enough to get a drink. So not only is this for your deer, uh, your hogs, whatever, you know, it's also for your, your raccoon. It's also for your mouse. It's for your, your whole system, your whole ecosystem. Your birds will love it. You'll have birds drinking out of this all the time. It's a complete system. It's a wildlife watering system. It's not just a deer watering system. It's for anything that requires water, and that's everything on this Mother Earth. For more information on Oasis watering systems, visit oasiswildlife.com. We'll be right back. The hunt's over, but do you know what to do with all the meat in your freezer? Let's join Justin back at camp where he's experimenting with all the delicious possibilities offered by the Bradley Smoker. We're out at turkey camp right now, and I have the honor of cooking for everybody while they're out hunting. So now I've gone on to BradleySmoker.com. I've got all these recipes, and I've got them laid out. Beautiful looking meats here. I've got my chicken thighs, got my turkey breasts. Got my Cornish hens, meatballs, and basically I've gotten all these off Bradley. You know, I'm not the master chef, but they make it pretty easy for you. So back here I've got a six rack going, and we've got maple smoking back there with some ribs and some beans. And then up here we're going to do all our poultry with a little uh, uh, mesquite. So it should be pretty good when these guys come back in from hunting. They should have a nice Bradley smoked assortment of meat and I think they're gonna thank me because it's gonna be really good. The you know, recommended temperature on cooking this poultry is about 250 and we want your internal temperature to be about 165. So I've got these bacon wrapped chicken Swiss ham rolls, which look really good. I'm gonna put these in here first. Onto our rack here. And this is what's really nice about the Bradley. You can, you can put a ton of stuff in there and just leave it. And when you come back, you've got a lot of meat. You know, we're serving a lot of people out here. So you've got a lot of different kinds of meat and you can do different flavors. You can do whatever you're in the mood for. You can do, you know, smoked turkey a couple times a week and you can do different flavors. So that's pretty neat. Those are ready to go in there for about three hours or until the turn, internal temperature is about 165, and we're gonna be good to go. Let's open it up and see what we got. And that just looks absolutely delicious, and it's left a really nice, juicy meat, and that is just golden, crispy, going to be juicy on the inside. I can see the juices coming out of it. It's going to be delicious. The, uh, the cheese dogs. We got cheese, ham, and chicken all in there. The cheese is oozing out, steaming. It looks absolutely delicious. And one of the really nice things when you're using this Bradley, you know, if you're a hunter or if you're doing something in the outdoors, you're at a, at a ball game, anything like that, you take your Bradley smoker there, you put your meat in, you set your digital timer, and then you go about what you're gonna do. You come back and you got nice, delicious meat ready to eat. I got something special I'm gonna do with these chicken thighs here in a minute. Those just look delicious. And I'm no expert, but this is pretty easy to do. You just follow the instructions, pop it in there, press a couple buttons, 
and you're gonna look like a master chef. We've got these chicken thighs here. They're cooked, hot out of the smoker. They'd be really good as is, but we're gonna do a little something to make them better. Now I saw this on Bradley Smoker's YouTube channel. Looked really good, so we're gonna try it. I'm basically gonna dip these whole chicken thighs in the barbecue sauce, then I'm gonna roll them around in these potato chips and crispy fried onions and give it a nice crust to it. So we're gonna have the sweetness of the sauce, the crispiness of the onions and chips, and then that nice juicy chicken in the middle. So we'll see how it goes, but this is gonna be a messy job. Definitely wanna use the tongs. Fully submerse them in the sauce. And then place them on top there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and use our hands because we're at turkey camp, we can do that. Now that looks good. And we're gonna place it in the warmer, keep it warm for when everybody gets here. But I think this is just gonna top off all these nice recipes we got from Bradley Smoker. And I think it's gonna make me look good. We'll see what happens. That's a chicken thigh. I think it'll come on with smoke. Barbecue How about cut that? Man, what a meal. After eating what he cooked yesterday, I mean, he cooked anything from turkey to deer to chicken, everything. And it, man, the taste of it, it was, it was awesome. And when it comes to a meal like that and, and you're, you start looking at everything that, that's come out of there and you, oh, I want one of those. Oh, I want one, mm, gotta have, mm, I want one of those. And, and you start getting out there and slicing it all up. You see how tender it is and how moist it is. And, you can't ever pick just one when you make a smorgasbord of uh, stuff like that. I mean, it had a lot of flavor to it. It was still moist, and it was very, very good. And, and I'm looking forward to getting out here and killing a turkey and putting another one back on that smoker. Deer Gear is brought to you by Danner Boots, Garmin, High Viz Shooting Systems, and Delta Ag. You know, deer hunting is, is not something that I just go pick up a gun or, or my bow and go do, you know, a few days before the season. It's something I literally do all year long. I think about it, I, I work on it, there's things that I do. It could be shooting my bow in the backyard, it could be working on my equipment. But mostly it entails getting out to the properties that we hunt on and doing a tremendous amount of work on them. We're moving stands at odd times of the year. We're clearing brush, we're making food plots, we're working on our feeding programs so that we can maximize our hunting area to get the most potential out of it. This past summer, we really took it to an extreme. We went out and cleared a tremendous amount of brush to make some big new food plots. The idea was, yep, we're in a drought in that part of Texas, but eventually it's gonna break and we wanna be ready for it. So by clearing this brush and putting these food plots in, we wanted to give our, our whitetail and other game species an opportunity when it did rain and come out of that drought to get a jump start to really pick it back up right away. Well, fortunately for us, after we cleared the brush, we got in there and plowed, and we took all of our advantage of all of our expertise from our Delta Ag folks, we got a little rain and our food plots begin to flourish, begin to just come up. And right when they first came up, I'm talking just got started, the deer begin to pound them right away. And we were able to get in there and knock down a few deer right on those exact spots. And that's very fulfilling to me, considering that I like to deer hunt all year long, to know that all that work in the off season and all those trips out there when it's 105, getting ready paid off in the long run and if you'll get out and try and do those same things whether it's a 20 by 20 food plot or a 10 20 40 acre food plot if you'll do those things i promise you you're going to feel very rewarded when you knock a deer down out of there and long term you're going to see incredible success rates because of what you've done delta ag offers three products that are invaluable to the health and growth of your food plots soil solution seed coat and plant power let's learn more about these beneficial products now Soil Solution is a product that we developed in 1988 and what we came up with the long and the short of it is we found if we could take advantage of the bacteria and the microorganisms that are in your soil and help them to thrive and do better, then we could have a long term impact on that soil. If you've got good microorganisms, you've got good aeration, you've got good water holding capacity, you've got good nutrient availability. So all we did was let's take advantage of Mother Nature and let's feed 
the microorganisms that are already there trying to do that job and help them and attain long-term benefit. That's what soil solution does. Think of it as feeding your microorganisms. Seed coat is, uh, is the best way that I can describe seed coat. It's sort of like a vitamin pack. It's gonna help get more seed up and out of the ground and grow. As a vitamin pack, what it does is it's gonna help plants, after the, ger the seed germinates, it's gonna help to give that plant more energy to get up out of the ground and growing. It takes a lot of energy from the seed embryo itself. To, it takes a lot of energy to push it up and out of the ground, form the first leaves and start growing. What this does is it gives it more energy to make that boost to get it up and out of the ground with less effort. The, the best way for me to describe the advantage to plant power would be to talk about my own place. What we started doing is we started applying plant power, which is a product we use with farmers in agriculture as a foliar and as a seed treatment, as an for a lot of applications for it in, in ag. We started using that as a foliar to come back after we got the crop up and growing and make that foliar application to boost the growth of the plant even further. So we're boosting the growth of the plant and boosting the development of the root system so that it can develop more, faster, quicker. And in a lot of cases, we can actually get ahead of the foraging pressure, which surprised me. What we were trying to do is help it to survive the foraging pressure. And in fact, it helped a lot. Uh, now, I, I will say this, the animals like plants, they're more favored to plants that are treated with plant power because a healthier plant is a plant that's gonna generate more protein, which is more sugar, which is better aroma, better flavor. Like what you see on Deer Gear? Win products and gift cards simply by liking us on Facebook at Deer Gear TV. You'll get up-to-date info on all our featured gear and the inside scoop on upcoming giveaways. Just visit facebook.com slash deergeartv.